than in just about any other scenario involving an alleged sexual assault at a bar. The resulting news story would likely result with us telling you about criminal charges and an arraignment. Not this time. The suspected sexual assault that took place between a woman and a male customer early Sunday morning at Manhattan's Bar None has a twist with international flair and not in a good way. It happened just before 2.30 a.m. Sunday when a Sudanese citizen allegedly groped a woman inside the bar, specifically grabbing her breasts and buttocks against her will. Someone called the police. When officers arrived, they detained the suspect for questioning, and then he ran out of the bar and down the street. When officers caught the man, they placed him under arrest. But that's when the Sudanese citizen notified the officers he's a diplomat with diplomatic immunity, and he was released. Yes, a man accused of sex assault in a bar set free. That's wrong, clearly. Super sketchy. What's the outcome that you would have liked to see? He gets questioned, he goes to jail, like whatever. He gets detained. They like properly investigate what's going on. I don't know. I can't believe this happened. The NYPD tells PIX11 News, quote, diplomatic immunity is a form of legal immunity that ensures diplomats are given safe passage and are considered not susceptible to lawsuit or prosecution under the host country's laws. Diplomatic courtesy aside, Bar None's newest sidewalk message, no diplomats, speaks volumes. It is the Columbus Day holiday, but we went ahead and stopped by the Sudanese mission, closed. We reached out via email and telephone to the Sudanese embassy in Washington, D.C. No response, but again, bar none, saying no to diplomats, taking matters into its own hands.